In this problem, we're going to calculate the acceleration of a car from rest to 60 miles per hour in 10 seconds. And we're going to calculate it in units of meters per second per second. So let's summarize some of the information contained in this problem. The initial velocity of this car is going to be 0 meters per second. That's what it means for an object to start from rest. The final velocity is going to be 60 miles per hour. And we're going to need to convert this unit over to meters per second. And the time it takes to change that velocity is going to be 10 seconds. Now before we actually calculate the acceleration, let's just see what's happening within this problem. If this is our starting point, this will be the point where our car is initially at rest, and that would be zero meters per second. Then what's going to happen is this car is going to accelerate over some distance, reaching a final velocity of 60 miles per hour over a time interval of 10 seconds. Now, the velocity of the car is going to be in this direction, so I'm going to draw a velocity vector. Now, the car is going to be accelerating in the same direction in which it's velocity is changing. So in this case, the car is going to be speeding up. All right, now to calculate the acceleration, we need to convert this number, the 60 miles per hour, to meters per second so that we can be in our SI units. So 60 miles per hour needs to be converted. And to do that, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to convert my units of miles over to kilometers, kilometers over to meters. So to do that, I know that one mile has 1.61 kilometers. And then I need to go from kilometers over to meters, and I know one kilometer has 1,000 meters. And then the next thing I do, well, first notice that my units of length cancel out, and I get units of meters in the end. And the next thing I'm going to do is convert my hours over to seconds, and I know that one hour has 3,600 seconds. And notice that my units of hours will cancel out, and I'll get units of seconds. And if you are having trouble with this conversion, we've done a few problems in the past with this. Now, when you do this, you get 60 times 1.61 times 1,000, and you're going to divide that by 3,600. And when you do that, you should get 26.8 meters per second. So 60 miles per hour also equals 26.8 meters per second. Now, to calculate the acceleration of the car, you go back to your definition of acceleration, which says that acceleration is a change in velocity per change in time, or how fast the velocity changes. So in this case, it's going to be v final minus v initial, divided by the time it takes to change that velocity. Now, in this case, our final velocity is going to be 26.8 meters per second. And our initial velocity is going to be 0 meters per second. And the time it takes to change that velocity is going to be 10 seconds. Now, when you do this out, you should get 26.8 meters per second minus 0 is 26.8 meters per second. And it's going to take 10 seconds to change that velocity. And what you should get is 2.68 meters per second squared. And that's going to be the acceleration over that 10 second interval. And that's going to mean that every second that this object is accelerating, the velocity is going to increase by 2.68 meters per second. 